First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadosh, and double on still those great millstone, while it is truth. And also to the Ophelet that is scattered abroad, I'd like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson, the spirit of power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of the lesson is Memphis Mass Tragedy. So I'd like to say, Shalom, to all our listeners learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start today, let's I have a news article on about the Memphis a mass tragedy uh, shooting. Uh, and it reads, it says, uh, AP uh, Associated Press, it says, a suspect in the killings of four people is found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, police says. Let's get a little bit more. It said, Memphis, Tennessee, Associated Press, uh, AP, said a suspect uh, in Tennessee died, died of a self-afflicted gunshot wound while on the run Sunday after a series of shootings that killed four of his female uh, relatives and seriously uh, injured a fifth person, police says. Officer uh, found the body of um, uh, Mavis Kristen Jr., 52, in his car during a manhunt following uh, the shootings at three locations in Memphis that left three women and a teenage girl dead and a teenage girl uh, critically wounded, the Memphis Police Department says. Police says Kristen was related to the victims but could not immediately specify how they were related. The names of the victims have not yet been released. So we already know that the, what the Lord is bringing forth judgment. So we're seeing all sorts of uh, great death, you know, sorrow, you know what I'm saying? This what this tragedy, you know what I'm saying? Also, you know what our family uh, members. The Lord already said that in what Matthew chapter 10 that he will bring variance or a division, you know, striving envy, you know what I'm saying? All sorts of things are happening, you know what I'm saying? The love of many is constantly waxing cold and cold. And also what will rat upon judgment. And I also the Lord said what? First, my judgment would start at the house of Israel. So we're going to constantly see these things each and every day. So the Lord is constantly what? It's, it's purging out the rebels. We're seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Increased violence. We're seeing all sorts of uh, our people, which in fact are the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Indians dying in what? Car accident. Are the mother and father killing one another? Son, uh, the son and, and father killing one another. Or it could be an uncle, you know, killing his sister, you know, and vice versa. So all these things is constantly happening all over the place, you know, and constantly increasing because the Lord is what? Bringing forth that judgment. So now let's go here and get a quick precept before we start today's video. I have a little bit more on this uh, on this news article. I have some videos to bring it out a little bit more. So let's go here first uh, with a quick precept. Uh, first Peter chapter four and verse 17. It said, for the time is come that judgment must begin. At the house of the Almighty, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them of that obey not the gospel of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai? So the Lord is constantly bringing forth what judgment, you know, said two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So we've seen a lot of these, uh, we've seen what four females, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, were unalive, you know, and, and out of the body, you know, it's going to be more than that. So it's going to be more women uh, dying than men because, you know, say we have a whole lot of a wicked Eve, you know what I'm saying? Wicked what Latinos, wicked what Native Indians. And out of the body, you know, the Lord is bringing forth that, that judgment, you know what I'm saying? These women that are at ease. And out of the body, the Lord is constantly bringing it forth each and every day, dying in all sorts of different calamities. And also, it was rumors saying that uh, it was over uh, uh, some type of inheritance, you know, that, you know, it's possibly, you know, says what the rumors are saying. We don't know whether that's true or not. But one thing about it, we knowing that, you know, he, um, you know, he, 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 he brought forth wrath. You know, what I'm saying spirit, what that was created for, what vengeance. So we seeing that happening left, right. So Lord is bringing forth judgment each and every day. And let's read this once again. First, uh, First Peter chapter four and verse seven, seventeen said, "For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house 
of the Almighty, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Almighty, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the Lord is bringing forth judgment. And I about the Lord already got to what the prophets out here signing and crying left and right, but out of the body, you know what I'm saying? But you hate him that rebukes at the gate, constantly not believing, constantly doing all sorts of wickedness, all sorts of what? Uh, uh, sexual immorality, you know, it's all sorts of what that self will that do thy will spirit. And I about and a lot of people are coming, what unalive left and right. Lord is bringing forth judgment every day, and I about it's gonna constantly what increase until the what the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It is fast to approach, and also, once again, judgment is now at hand. So, I have a few short videos, you know. And after the video, we'll start the lesson, and I hope that you will get edified. All right, you guys, so we have a crazy story that's coming out of Memphis, Tennessee. On Saturday, November 18th, police received a 911 call around 6 p.m. about a possible shooting. So once they arrived to this home, they ended up finding three people that were shot. Among these three people was a woman that was deceased, a 13-year-old that was deceased, and a 15-year-old that was in critical condition. While processing this scene and rushing that 15-year-old to the hospital, they got another call about another shooting. So this call came in around 6.40 p.m. and it was a woman that was found deceased at her home. So after viewing ring cam footage, police then make the discovery that they are looking for a man by the name of Mavis Christian. While looking for Mavis, another woman is found deceased around 9.20 p.m. Mavis has shot five people, killing four of them. So police send out alerts for a white Malibu that they possibly think that Mavis is driving and they begin their search before he starts to kill again. This is when we learn who the victims are that Mavis shot. Now y'all, everybody that Mavis shot, they were all females and they were all his relatives. Now at one location, Mavis shot and killed his own sister, Ruby Christian. A neighbor details what happened as everything unfolded. There to her residence and that's when I took off on foot running. Um, I met the daughter. She was inside the house. Uh, no police were even on the scene yet. Um, and I'm not quite sure. I know uh, her daughter thought that her mother had slipped and fell, which was not the case. Um, but we did not know that, you know, it was gunshot wound. B Singer says she had not met her neighbor's brother, the alleged shooter. The only thing I'm aware of is there was some family alter uh, family situations going on that left some ties i think due to their mother passing now mavis also shot and killed ruby's daughter which would have been his niece kamaria christian now mavis continued on to shoot and kill kamaria's daughter tori tori is the victim that was 13 years old but we know that the 15 year old is still in critical condition now y'all this one is crazy but he also went and shot his ex-wife tawanda Barron. So we find out that Tawanda and Mavis Christian were married at one point in time. But during this marriage, Mavis was extremely abusive and had the police call him multiple times. 13 uncovered a 2018 court case which establishes Christian and Tawanda Barron were once married. Digging deeper, that 2018 court record paints the picture of yet another domestic dispute. Investigators say during an argument, Mavis Christian punched his ex-wife in the face several times to the point of her losing consciousness. It says when the couple's children using a bat tried to defend their mother, the suspect took the bat and used it to beat his ex-wife in the head. Now, in the early mornings of Sunday, they ended up finding Mavis and he had unalived himself. This case is completely horrific. Not only did he kill these innocent women, he also killed a child. I didn't see anything about a motive. The only thing that I know is that neighbor was saying that him and his sister Ruby were going through some things after their mother passed away and they were having family issues. But y'all, for this man to shoot this 13 and 15 year old, killing a 13 year old, is just completely senseless and it's horrific. Her neighbor of more than five years. He had blocked her in the driveway. Shot dead outside the Field Lark Drive home where the victim lived. But recently, the victim and her daughters avoided staying at the Southwest Memphis home, the neighbor tells us. They weren't even living oh, there were. because of him. This man identified by police as Mavis Christian Jr., the uncle of the woman hit shot. 
The neighbor says she ran over calling out for help while calling out for a miracle as she tried to comfort her longtime neighbor. Don't leave, stay here. And I heard my grandbaby holler out for her friend and I looked raised up and she was in the vehicle holding her. The deceased's two teen daughters were also shot, the neighbor explained. Now, this neighbor is saying that he chased down the 15-year-old, which would have been his great-niece. She ran for her life and it's being alleged that she was shot seven times. But like I said before, she is still in critical condition. Now, his reason for shooting and killing his ex-wife, Tawanda, is still unknown. But Tawanda's family and friends are completely heartbroken. They're saying she was the light of the family and they could not believe that she is actually gone. Now, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this case as more details are revealed. But like I said before, he ended up unalive himself, and we don't know what really are the motives for all of these killings. My heart goes out to the family of all the victims, and my heart goes out to that 15-year-old who lost her mother and her sister. Now, you guys, if any of you know Mavis or know something that might have been going on, comment below. And as always, comment below and let me know your thoughts on this very tragic case. <laughs>
the two that they don't they don't know the law. No, they don't fear the law. You know what I'm saying? They they don't consider. They don't know who they are. They don't know who their true power. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know what time that we're living in. We're living in end time, real time. And Bible prophets are rolling like clockwork. And what's happening? Constantly what? Doing all sorts of wickedness and evilness. You know what I'm saying? And out of body, the Lord got his hand stretched out all day long. When I called, you did not ask. And out of body, the Lord shall what? Choose their delusion. So let's read this again. Jeremiah chapter uh, 4 and verse 22 said, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish, are stupid children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Our people are destroyed all day for what? A lack of knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. You know what I'm saying? Because, because thou hast rejected now, I also will reject thee. And also your children and your children out there because, you know, you are that same rebellious house that did not want to return to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is getting ready. He's seeing it happening left and right. He's purging out the rebels. So now let's go here to Matthew chapter uh, 24. Just rolling in the spirit. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12 says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many, many shall wax cold. So one thing about it, we're seeing that, you know, we have what? Increase what? Violence. You know what I'm saying? In the land. You know, we seeing that, you know, uh, 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 the love of men is waxing cold. You know, that what? That do thy will spirit. You know, covenants. You know what I'm saying? Lovers of themselves. You know what I'm saying? One of what? Quick to do evil and hate to good. We seeing it each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Wickedness has what? Polluted the whole earth. And they were hurtful works all fulfilled. The Lord's getting ready to constantly bring forth judgment. We're going to see these type of things each and every day. So people going to be dying in all sorts of what? Horrific death. So let's read this again. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12 it said, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We see it every day. You know, a lot of people are cold blooded right now. You know what I'm saying? They got hate in their heart. You know what I'm saying? They want to kill. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, what, you know, what you call these, uh, these, uh, 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 they are what you call undesirable. Something I'm trying to say, I can't get it all. But anyway, they are the uh, multitude that was what? Born in vain. And not about one thing about it. Hey, man, Lord's getting ready to get rid of all the, these things. Ain't none of this coming in into the kingdom. So we seeing it happening right before our eyes, man. Hey, man, the love of men is constantly waxing cold and cold. We're living in some perilous times, some evil times. You know, just like I say, you know, hey, man, you, you could be here today and gone tomorrow. Hey, man. Hmm, the Lord is not playing. Let's go here to uh, Job, Job chapter uh, 4 and verse 5. Job chapter 4, now verse 7, so like Job chapter 4 and verse uh, 7. He said, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or were, uh, where were the righteous cut off? Verse 8 said, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity uh, and sow wickedness, Reap the same. Not about you shall reap what you sow. And not about whoever perish being innocent. And not about you got to pay for what you have done in your past life, in this life. You know what I'm saying? Judgment is what is the place under the sun. What is under the sun? The earth. You know what I'm saying? Not about, hey, we're here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Bible's a true book. Verse 9 said, by the blast of the Almighty, they perish. And by the breath of his nostril, are they consumed? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you you here today, you go on tomorrow. Not about just that fast. And not about, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, life is short. Not about you better seek the Lord while he can be found because, hey, you're running out of time because the Lord is bringing forth that judgment just like clock was running like a river right now. Let's read it from the top again. And it, it says, uh, Job chapter 4 and verse 7 said, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? And out of body, one thing about it, oh, but that was just a tragedy. Oh, oh, they, he killed that girl, all oh, this and that. It's no respect to person. Hey, one thing about it, hey, man, you don't know what that uh, young 13-year-old, 15-year-old did in their past life. You know what I'm saying? Hey, one thing about it, hey, man, the Lord is, hey, hey, hey man, when your number come up, you getting ready to go. Verse uh, 8, it says, even as I uh, seen, they that plow iniquity, and sow wickedness, reap the same. You shall reap what you sow. You sow in wickedness, you're going to reap the same. You know what I'm saying? That's what? Death. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, we come to the one. Verse 9, it said, by the breath of the Almighty, they perish. By the, by the breath of his nostril, they are consumed. You know what I'm saying? You hear today, you go on tomorrow. You know, just like a vapor. Hey, man, you out of here. You know what I'm saying? So let's go here to uh, Soraka Ecclesiasticus. Um... 
just random scripture. Uh, so Rock chapter 39. So Rock chapter 39. And we'll start at verse uh, 28. <clears throat> and it read, there be spirits that be salaki. From the top again, uh, verse 28, there be spirits that are created uh, for vengeance, which in their fear lay on sore strokes, I mean sore uh, strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him uh, that made them, and about who made them? Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and about it. So we see that they, what these this uh, this uh, spirit that is created for vengeance. You know what I'm saying? Lord is what is executing judgment. Not about it. so we see in a lot of these uh, spirit of vengeance every day. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is constantly. You know what I'm saying? He, he's bringing forth the judgment. A lot of people are coming unalive, and the body count is getting ready to be great. Verse 29 said, "Said fire and hell and famine and death. All these." were created for vengeance. So as you see seeing that every day, the Lord is bringing forth, you know, fire, hell, famine, you know what I'm saying? Death, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you're seeing it each and every day, you know, constantly increasing, great catastrophe, great calamities all around the world. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is bringing forth that sword, famine, passing, you know what I'm saying? A time of trouble that you've never seen before. The beginning of sorrow. Verse 30 said, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the, uh, the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Hey, man, one thing about it. Hey, man, the Lord's bringing it. Hey, man, he's bringing it, man. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. And I about to say, hey, man, you going to that word sword and going into what? Judgment. You know what I'm saying? Lord's getting ready to what? To purge them out. The Lord is getting ready to, you know what I'm saying? Cut two parts therein off. You know what I'm saying? He's getting ready to do that. You know So we're seeing these things going to constantly happen each and every day. So, you know, it's don't get disamazed. Don't get disencouraged. Because these things got to come to, uh, to pass. The evil is sown. And not about one thing about it, we got to go through the fire to get to the what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So we're seeing that these spirits of vengeance. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Lord is bringing it, bringing it forth, you know, each and every day. Hey, man. Hey, man, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. So let's get a couple of quick precepts. Let's go here to Micah chapter 7. So a lot of women, you know, constantly are dying left and right. You know, these men are, are just sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it is that, you know, Eva Eve is, is getting ready to go. Also, you wicked Latino women, wicked like uh, native anyone. Also, these men, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, no respect to person. Once again, uh, you know what I'm saying? And also, we have a few women that's in the truth. You know what I'm saying? You know, they're truly blessed. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, hey, man. Hey, hey, man, we get ready to see it, man. We seeing it left and right, man. Hey, man, whoo, we are here. Uh, Michael chapter 7 and verse 9. Michael chapter 7 and verse 9. Now, verse 10, so like it. And it reads that, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the street. So, you see what happened, you know, with these uh, young women, you know what I'm saying? May the Lord have mercy upon them. But one thing about it is that we're seeing that these things is going to constantly happen. We're seeing, you know, women's dying, you know, left and right, horrific. Men are dying, horrific death. You know what I'm saying? By the police, accident, about a family member. You know what I'm saying? The list go on and on. And out about it, the Lord is constantly bringing forth this judgment. You know, this myth is mass tragedy. You know what I'm saying? This shooting. You know what I'm saying? These things are constantly escalate. That's why you got to have... Self-control, you got to have, you know, control over your anger. You know what I'm saying? Not about it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, be consumed by it. And I bet you are consumed by it. those demons going to come in. You know what I'm saying? Those spirits of vengeance. And I bet, and, and man, one thing about it is that, hey, man, he killed four and plus he unalived his own self. That was judgment from who? Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, one thing about it, it's going to be like a mind in the street. Hey, man, the Lord, hey, man, constantly bringing it forth. You know, hey, man, one thing about it, hey, you, 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 all your unbelief, you know, all your despising and mocking is getting ready to come to an end. The Lord is getting ready to what? To cease the arrogancy of the proud. So now let's go here to uh, Matthew chapter uh, 10. Let's just say exactly what happened right here. Uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse uh, 35. And it reads, said, For I am come to set a man at variance, or division, against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. 
Verse 36, and a man foe or a man enemy shall be thy of his own household. So that about he became the enemy. You know, he killed his sister, he killed his niece. Uh, I think they were uh, they 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 was uh, her her daughters, which in fact was his niece. And out about he man, we seeing it right now. A man foe or enemy shall be of his own household. So Lord is causing that division, you know, that upride, you know what I'm saying, that strive and envy, you know what I'm saying. It's gonna constantly escalate, you know what I'm saying. Out about he man, one thing about it, you know, a lot of people getting ready to be what obsolete, getting ready to be deleted, and also a lot of us, you know, a lot of these two thirds. It's getting ready what to fill the fire. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Amen. Very soon. That lake of fire. What is that? The two, the two, the two third. You know what I'm saying? So let's go here now to uh let's go here to uh uh Hosea. Hosea chapter four. Let's go to Hosea chapter four. Something I want to get out of here. Hosea chapter four. And <clears throat> we'll start up at the top at uh verse one. Hosea chapter four and verse and verse one. And he really said, Hear the words. Of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Almighty in the land. Hey, you seeing that every day? You know what I'm saying? These rebellious two thirds. Verse two said, and say that when you know they scoffing the mocking the prophet. Also, you know what I'm saying? The one that sent her. You know what I'm saying? At first they hated. Uh, him and also they shall hate you. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, we're seeing it every day, that same rebellious house. Verse 2 said, by, by squaring and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, uh, they break out and blood touches blood. So we're seeing that every day, you know, killing, murders, behind murder, killing, behind killing, shootings, behind shooting, you know, murder, behind murder, blood touching blood. We're going to constantly see that because the Lord is bringing forth judgment. First, my judgment will start at the house of Israel. And also Ezekiel chapter 9, how do you mock for salvation or you mock for death? And I about, hey, one thing about it, hey, man, we seeing it happening right before our salvation is very close than we yet believe. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. So now let's get a, let's get a uh, couple of uh, precepts before we close out. Let's go here to uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 16. Proverbs chapter 16. And I take it around verse 32. Proverbs chapter 16. Let me highlight this right quick. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 32 say, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that rules his spirit uh, than he that uh, taketh a city. And one thing about it, if you and you you don't you don't have you can't rule over your spirit or uh, you are uh, you quick to uh anger and out of body, you know what I'm saying? You 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 will be totally strong. Self-control, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be able to uh, rule that flesh that's you know constantly warring with your spirit each and every day. So that's what's happening right now. You know, we in that uh what you call uh this is a uh, uh, spiritual warfare. But a lot of people, you know, they are overtaken by the what the darkness, by the evilness. You know what I'm saying? All these uh, uh, evil spirit, these spirit that create for vision, which in fact they are demons. You know what I'm saying? And I about so a lot of people are walking demons, walking time bomb. You know what I'm saying? Ready to explode. So you see what happened with this guy named uh, Mavis of uh, Christian. You know he was, you know, it was ready to explode. Vengeance created of uh, 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 spirit created for what vengeance? We seeing it. Every day. So, you know, he was very angry. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know what he uh, didn't have no rule over his spirit. He was out of control. But one thing about it, that was judgment from Yahweh by Hashem. And now he's in his right mind. And those four that he took with them, they're in their right mind. They know who their true power is now. They know they knowing what's getting ready to happen. They get ready to find out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, what their judgment is. You know what I'm saying? How they go, uh, Going to the kingdom, or are they gonna go into the uh lake of fire and they have to be what reborn through the what 130 elect? That's a whole nother lesson. Let's read this again. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 32 say, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that rules his spirit than he that takes a city. Hey, one thing about it, man, you gotta use wisdom each and every day. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of time. Let's go here. Let's get another one here from uh that's right here. Uh, I think it's uh Proverbs. Uh, 15 and uh, verse let's, let's just this one at verse 1 Proverbs 15 and 1 said a soft answer turns away wrath but grievous words stir up anger so we don't even know it. I don't know whether the sister was 
talking to him some kind of way. You already know how Eve talk. You know what I'm saying? She talk, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that man live with uh, authoritarian talk. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to tell me anything. You know what I'm saying? You get out of here. This and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking all this or whatever the reason may be. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, a soft answer, what? Let's go. Let's read this again. A soft answer turns away wrath. So one thing about it, you know what I'm saying? You got to be, you know what I'm saying? You got to be uh, uh, harmless as dove and, uh, and wise as a serpent. You know what I'm saying? What the Lord told the men of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So you got to use wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. And not about, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, one thing about it, so, so you're seeing a lot of things are happening left and right. Judgment is going out. Our salvation is very close to yet believe, man. We're very excited. We're almost out of here. But one thing about it, we're seeing that the Lord is bringing forth judgment every day. Watch, pray, and be sober. Let's read this once again. Uh, Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter 1. And uh, Proverbs 15 and verse 1, a soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Hey, man, you can, you know, sometimes you can escalate a situation by just talking calmly, you know, very uh, 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 respectfully. You know, so a lot of women are disrespectful. I mean, diff, disrespectful. So like it. And out of body, you know, it's not all our women, just, you know, just the, 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 the wicked ones, you know, the one that don't want to return. You know, but we have some beautiful Beautiful daughters of Zion that's in this truth, you know, constantly follow, following the Lord, the fear of the Lord, and love the Lord. And out about one thing about this, you know, we're seeing these things going to happen every day. And may the Lord have mercy upon all of them. And out about one thing about that, you know, hey, man, it's, it's, you know, it's a fearful thing, you know, to fall in the hands of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh, hey, man, the Lord is making it happen each and every day. Fear the Lord, depart from evil, you know what I'm saying, and return to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to Isaiah. Don't mean, don't mean to make it too long, just rambling. You're just in the spirit. So like you for that. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter, one moment. Isaiah chapter 66. Isaiah chapter 66. We'll close out here. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 4. Isaiah chapter 66. And verse four said, I also will choose their delusion and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I call, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that which I delighted not. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. So Lord's getting ready to choose what their delusion, get ready to what? Choose their what? Judgment. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready to bring forth that sword. He's getting ready to bring forth what? Uh, suffering. He's getting ready to bring forth what? Distress and anguish and agony. You know what I'm saying? And also what? Pain. You know what I'm saying? Sorrow. Vaxation of spirit. And I'd say because what? You know, you didn't want to hear the words of the Lord. You know, you did not want to return to the Lord. You want to constantly have the same mindset of these Gentiles. And a lot, and the Lord is what is constantly killing you off each and every day. And out about the Lord is executing judgment. And out about and one thing about it, you know, we're getting very and very close to that perfect day each and every day. You know, our salvation is very close. The Bible prophecy are jumping off the pages. You know what I'm saying? We seeing that we're here. You know, it's rolling like clockwork. You know, strive for the truth. To, you know what I'm saying? To death. And out about, you know, don't weaver. You know what I'm saying? Don't get faint hearted. You know what I'm saying? Constantly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 extra Lord, if you are lacking in anyway, extra Lord for strength, extra Lord for faith, and the Lord will answer you. You know what I'm saying? Out about, the Lord said He will protect us in what? In times of trouble. Not about, keep believing, keep the faith, keep pushing. And out about, and one thing about, it, the Lord will do the rest. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is Memphis Mass Tragedy. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.